Greyhound is the new Tom Hanks film. He's written and he stars in the World War II dramatic action movie inspired by real life events. Playing alongside Hanks is a young Christian actor, Grayson Russell. He is just about to graduate college, but he's already enjoyed a long film career. Huffed up reports a German transmission bearing 087 degrees, range 15 to 20 miles. Greyhound, how did you come to the film and what do you think of the story now that people are about to see it? Yeah, you know, it, it's funny. I was 19 when we filmed it and I'm just turned 22 a couple months ago so it's been a it's been a long time coming i remember literally falling to the ground in my grandparents bedroom i had just come home from college for valentine's day weekend and i got a call that friday saying hey we need you on tuesday to be in baton rouge uh, to begin boot camp for the navy and marines uh for greyhound wow and, oh by the way uh you'll be working with Tom Hanks for two months. <laughs> <laughs> so I just remember, I, I just, on my knees, it's like, oh my God, thank you so much. Air escort to Greyhound. You will now be out of range of air cover for the next five days. Safe travels to England. How many crossings does this make? This is my first. Well, what did you think of the story in that time in history? I've always been history buff, period. Uh, more or less regardless of the period. Right before I auditioned for Graham, one of my dear friends passed away. He was 99, uh, served in the Pacific in the Navy. Um, so for me, it was not so much um, a, a historical um, piece as it was a tribute to one of my best friends. We have hits directly on the convoy. I, I was watching an interview that uh, Tom did for a, for a separate deal um, at how similar the times are now where we're sitting here and going, okay, we don't really know when this COVID stuff is going to end. We're not entirely sure how we're going to navigate it, um, but we're all in this together to an extent to this purpose to get to the end of it. Uh, no different than these sailors sitting on this boat in the middle of nowhere going, okay, we have to figure out a way to get the things that Europe needs to survive. Right. We gotta right. get it there. Um, hell or high water. And we get a whole lot of both. We get 90 minutes of both <laughs> um, yeah. with, with, with Greyhound. Tell us about your character. You play uh, a signalman. Yes, sir. So I play a, a signalman second class, um, and my job was to keep lines of communication open between this this great big convoy, but, um, while allowing us to stay radio silent, um, so that the Nazis couldn't hear us. Here they come. Before I let you go, I want to talk more about you uh, and and your career personally. I forgot the year, but a critical year in terms of you being on the set of. It wasn't called Talladega Nights at that time. <laughs> Texas Ranger, how about you? Well, the teacher asked me what was the capital of North Carolina. Mm -hmm. I said, Washington, D.C. Bingo. Talladega Nights was uh, something that I, I never intended to be an actor at all. Uh, where I'm from is 9,000 people. My mom's an accountant. My dad does construction work. I wanted to be George Strait, ride bulls, and draw pictures. That's what <laughs> I wanted to do. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that I got saved while filming. Um, it's how they get nights and as a seven year old that I, you know, brand new, you know, just got saved. Um, I wasn't comfortable with it. Neither was my family. We're going, okay, we know we're supposed to be here because this is too crazy of a situation to not be of God. Mm -hmm. How do we handle this? And I very vividly remember going up to Adam McKay. Um, and I remember going up to him and saying, Mr. Adam, do we really have to say all this? And he sat me up and looked me in the eyes and said, you never have to do anything that you're not comfortable with. Let me run through some other films you've been in real quick and just get your reaction. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. What do you want to do, Greg Heffley? How about Twister? I'm not really that much of a Twister guy. Candy! I was in middle school. Middle school in a, in a public school is hard enough when you're not in the middle of a franchise called Diary of a Wimpy Kid. And it's even harder when you're playing the strangest kid um, in the film. I'll say that. <laughs> later uh space warriors i'm gonna die piece of cake what if i hurl keep breathing don't hold your breath i think i am gonna hurl that was a blast that was the the, the only film i've actually done uh, at home more or less i'm from alabama uh, we filmed at the huntsville space and rocket center mother's day mother's day i got my senior year of high school <laughs> uh, it's the first week first week of my senior year of high school uh, we go in and i remember on the first day here we are with 
Gary Marshall, who is responsible for discovering Joey Roberts, Robin Williams. He created Happy Days. He created Mork and Mindy, Laverne and Shirley. Um, and, and, and then on, on the back end, it being his last film before he passed away. Uh, that was an honor. And you can catch Grayson in Greyhound. It's streaming right now on Apple TV+.